Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, before we get going here, please just make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel. So with this particular problem that we have here, we are going to so uh, solve this by the parallelogram method. So we have a barge that is being pulled by two tugboats as shown. Um, if the resultant of the forces exerted by the tugboats is 5,000 pounds directed along the axis of the barge, meaning in that direction, Determine the tension in each of the ropes, knowing that alpha is 45 degrees. So as I said, we're going to be solving this um, uh, using the parallelogram method. So what we're going to have to do, because usually with parallelogram, um, uh, the parallelogram method, you will have the components trying to find a result. So this problem is basically going to be in reverse. Well, not basically, but you get the idea that most likely it's going to be in reverse from what you commonly use the parallelogram uh, method for. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave ourselves plenty of room here to draw a big parallelogram. So I'm going to make my free body diagram and I'm going to work off that free body diagram. So there's my X and Y components. And I have, oh, well, I didn't want that. Hold on. There we go. And then I'm going to have my resultant force, which is 5,000 pounds. And it's going to be directly along the X axis here. And I'm going to have this tugboat at A going in this direction. And we're going to have the other tugboat, which is FC, pulling in tension this direction. Our angles are 30 degrees off of the X for FA and 45 degrees off of the X for FC. So with the parallelogram rule, what you will do, let me change colors here, is that you are going to copy and paste each force to the other force. So for instance, we would copy and paste FA down here, FC. I'm going to have to uh, readjust my 5,000 pound resultant, but it would be something like this. And this would be my copied and pasted FA. And then you repeat the process where you copy and paste FC up here at FA. And as you can see there, I should have shortened my 5,000. So this forms FA and FC and the copied versions of FA and FC are exactly the same amount of force, just in different locations, and it forms a nice parallelogram. The resultant will always go from the corner of where F, uh, A, and FC originally touched to where the new copied and paste versions of FA and FC touch. So my resultant will be right along this x-axis right here. So we get two individual triangles that form here. So let's go ahead and fill in some more angles here. So this one right here between FA and X will be 30 degrees to match this angle over here between the X axis and FA. And this angle between FC and the X axis will be the same angle as FC and the X axis over here at 45 degrees. So this total angle inside here on both sides is 75 degrees from the 30 plus the 45. <clears throat> Typically, when you're working with the parallelogram rule, you have to either use the law of cosines or the law of sines to solve the problem entirely. Sometimes you can just get away with using the law of sines when you have a problem that has a lot more information um, than other problems. Uh, some parallelogram method uh, problems, you're not given a whole lot at the start, so you have to use the law of cosines to get more information, then you can use the law of sines. For this particular problem, we have a pretty good amount of information at the start since we already know what the resultant is, and we already know a bunch of angles here. But one angle we're going to need if we want to use the law of sines is that you are going to need the angle that is opposite your force which this angle in green is opposite my uh, resultant force, where FA, the 45 is opposite it, and for FC, the 30 is opposite it. So I'm just gonna call this little angle C, and we need to find what C is. Since this parallelogram has four sides, the total amount of degrees is 360. 
Well, I have 75 degrees on this side and I have 75 degrees on the right side over here. And C is equal on each side here. So I'm gonna take 360 minus two of those 75 degree angles and then finally divide it by two because there's two little C angles. And that gives me a total of 105 degrees at this location here. And this one right here. <clears throat> so when using the parallelogram rule, sometimes it is best to split it up into the in two individual triangles that form. So we have this triangle here at the top and then one at the bottom. So I'm just going to pick the one at the bottom here, which what we have here is my resultant, which is 5,000 pounds. I have FC over here. And then I have that copied and pasted version of FA over here. This angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 45 degrees, as that was given in the problem. And we just determined that this one is 105 degrees. Typically, with the law of sines, um, a lot more information you can use if you know all the angles and one of the sides. Or vice versa, of that, if you know all the sides and one of the angles, you can use the law of sines. Law of cosines is if you're missing more than that. With this particular problem, we can use the law of sines, which the law of sines is this where we would have our side of A, whatever we call A, divided by the sine of the angle that's opposite, which would be equal to a different side called B over the sine of the angle that's opposite of B, which would be equal to whatever side we call C over the sine of the angle that's opposite that. So I need to know what FA and FC are. So in order to use the law of sines, I have to know what angles opposite that and a full side in the angle opposite it. So for FC, we would utilize the 30 because it's opposite. And then for the FA, we're going to utilize the 45 because it's opposite. So setting up our law of sines equations, we would have the 5,000 pounds as our resultant. The angle opposite it would be the 105. So sine of 105 degrees is equal to, let's target FA first because A becomes before C. So we have FA over the angle that's opposite it, which is the sine of 45. So we can rearrange this and solve for FA, which FA is just 5,000 times the sine of 45, all divided by the sine of 105. And this gives me a total force of 3,660 pounds and it's going in that upward right direction. So that's how much tension force is in the cable connected to FA. Well, I still have to find FC, and we're basically going to do exactly the same um, law of sines equation here. We're just going to substitute in FA and the angle opposite, or FC and the angle opposite it. So just rewriting it here again, 5,000 pounds over the sine of 105 is equal to FC divided by the sine of the angle that's opposite it, which is the 30 degrees. And FC is the only unknown in that equation, so we can rearrange and solve, and it's gonna be 5,000 pounds times the sine of 30, all divided by the sine of 105, when you do your cross multiplying there. And this pops out to be, 2,588 pounds in that downward right direction. So those are your two answers to the problems. Those tell you how much uh, tension is in each of those cables pulling that barge. And that's how you find those answers using the parallelogram method.